company posted wider than expected losses and missed on revenue. Morgan Stanley downgraded the stock to equal weight, saying it was wrong in assuming Roblox would continue to grow users and bookings at outsized rates. Uh, Josh, what's your take on, on this one and, and, and whether this is a buying opportunity for a stock that could still be a, a major structural winner in the decade ahead? So along with Morgan Stanley, I have been wrong on this. I bought this stock 40% off its high, thinking that we had already taken a lot of the air out of it uh, because of it being related to the quote-unquote pandemic stocks. I really do think that this is a long-term massive platform. They, even in January, they're talking about 51 million daily, not monthly, daily average users. But it's so expensive that they couldn't afford to have a quarter where they didn't execute. And that's what this past quarter was. So revenue growth is explosive, but expenses are growing even faster. And you really can't do that in this environment. Nobody's interested in that type of story anymore. So um, I am in this stock way too high, I think an average cost in the 80s. Uh, but I am not adding to it today because there are a lot of companies that have been killed that are executing. And I would rather have dry powder for names like that. So I have, I have limit order bids in for stocks like Disney and Lululemon and Moderna um, and, and Netflix and stocks that I just think have gotten too cheap that are doing a great job. Roblox is not doing a great job. I don't want to own any more of this and compound a situation where I've already got it very, very wrong. So I'm not buying on today's dip. I'm sticking around, but maybe not forever. Kudos I, on the I, I answer. Wonder, I wonder if it says something about the metaverse, Joss. Like, this is strike two, right, after Meta's quarter. We'll, we'll see what NVIDIA has to say a little bit later. But it, it just in this kind of market environment where everything gets scrutinized more, the Fed yeah. is raising rates, you know, it's not just about the future and users and engagement. It's also about revenues and profits. It's a good point. And just to answer that very quickly, Roblox is not a metaverse company. It's a company that is trying to build the metaverse and has a big lead, but it's a video game company. And actually, most of the money they make comes from selling Robux, which is a virtual currency that players and developers exchange with each other Go for, for experiences in, the, in these worlds. So th that's a great business. The thing is, it was a $40 billion market cap going into today's report. They had to be flawless, and they weren't. That's, that's really what it comes down to.